Hey everybody, welcome back to Drunken Movie Night, the pre-recorded edition. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out what to call these to separate them from the live stream. But anyways, we're tying in to what will be next Friday's Drunken Movie Night by watching part one of a series, even though it's a little confusing, you'll know what I mean in just a second. Tonight we're about to watch Two-Headed Shark Attack. What, what? In the butt, what, what, in the butt, in the butt, what, what? Um, I, don't, I don't know, I'm not even drunk yet. Um, so, <laughs> uh, this is part one, even though it has the word two in it, and fr the next Friday we'll be watching Three-Headed Shark Attack, even though it has part three in it. So, that gets a little confusing, but look, it's got Charlie O'Connell, not Jerry, Charlie O'Connell, Carmen Electra, and Brooke fucking Hogan. So you know this is going to be a wonderful disaster. Um, it is also directed by the guy who did uh, one of the Mega Sharks. Um, I want to say he did either Crocosaurus or he did uh, Colossus. Does it tell me on here? No, it doesn't. I'm not sure why they would want you to know. Anyways, this should be a fun time. Uh, so I got my vodka set up uh -huh, and a new sweet-ass koozie. Haven't had any to drink yet. It is 12.33. I'm actually getting to this at a reasonable time. And uh, I'm excited to get in here and check this out. In all honesty, I did watch a little bit of this, like 10 minutes, uh, a couple months ago. But I was I was pretty much at the end of my drinking cycle for that night. So I barely remember any of it. Uh, so I thought we'll jump into this thing, give it a go, and see what we get. Uh, I have the Blu-ray. If there's anywhere else you can watch it, I'll put links in the description. But I'm not really sure there is. Uh, but if you want to get the DVD or whatever, links are down there as well. Well, all right, well, let's watch. The Asylum! Yeah, it's gonna be sick with you shaking my fucking arm like a lunatic. <laughs> yeah, it is, it's gonna make people sick. And it ain't gonna be slick. Okay, I might have just burned through all my good jokes just there. And I'm gonna call that guy hashtag not Eli Roth if he survives. And Olin Ray, yep, as a director. <laughs> I do rec recall this actually opening pretty quick, uh, pretty well in terms of getting to the monster right away. Oh, wow. It's like the Last Supper of clich movie cliches. <laughs> The good thing is there's a lot of people who can die in this movie, so that's always good. When you got a two-headed shark, it's going to need to eat twice as many people. Nothing's impossible, sir. Actually, nothing is possible. Well, nothing is nothing, so nothing is impossible, but it's possibly impossible that it's possible because nothing isn't nothing when you call it nothing because by defining it as something, it stops being nothing. Um, let me drink some more. <laughs> okay, I hope part three is as good or better as this because this is already like just a wonderfully B, B movie. <laughs> You've got the range of acting abilities from really awful to okay. Shit happening at a good pace. Eye candy for the ladies too. So it's a little bit uh, modern. Uh, estoy tratando de aprender Estoy tratando de aprender español. Is this where they stumble upon the marijuana fields and get gunned down by drug dealers? Not again, Jesus. Holy crap, that's huge. That's what she said. Just wait everyone. Face ball. What happened to it? Something ate it, stupid. Yep, it's a good B movie. Gratuitous sexuality for no reason. If this was five or ten, made five or ten years earlier, she would have to be naked. I'm not gonna complain. Ooh. Um. 
Um, there should be a lot of blood in the water right now. Oh, they're using a digital lady, even. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, then. Don't know why you didn't use your torch, but okay. Pretty sure I just saw the guy drip sweat into the other guy's face. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't mean to snap. I was freaked out by the water. So you took a class that puts you on a boat on the sea? Well, when I was 12, it was the first summer that I was allowed to go to the beach with my friends. And all the girls were flirting. Good B movie. Back. I hate it. <laughs> I was just in the water by myself, jumping waves. No, like, cool. Yay, I was just about to get really fucking bored. Aw, shit, I'm gonna still be really fucking bored. Unless this is rated R and there's boobs, but I don't think the asylum really does that anymore. What? It's beautiful. Yay! Oh, you guys can't see those. I have to censor those for YouTube. <laughs> but yay! <laughs> Come on, Hanny. Don't be such a No, I don't buy that for a fucking second. Ain't nothing gonna distract a, a, a straight man in that situation, of that age, of that horny level caliber, from that distance particularly. Well, I could have believed one of the ladies. The fuck? What the fuck? They weren't deep enough for the two-headed shark, were they? I haven't really got a sense of scale on the thing, but still. I, mm, all right, still, so whatever. Be, be, because two-headed shark attack. Hashtag because two-headed shark attack. I forgot. I forgot how these things work. What do you think? She's gonna find a mouse or something under there? Dead flesh? Oh. Oh, no, not the stupid one. Whoa, what the fuck? Have we just been dealing with a baby two headed shark? Or is the island gonna sink? Because that would be cool. Oh, he scraped his leg. It's just a scratch. Seriously, it's it's a big gash, but it's not. I mean, look, he's walking on and everything. It's just a gash. It's like, I mean, it's a little painful, but it's not like, oh, come on, come on. Okay, I gotta not get mad at the logic of this movie. I gotta remember because two-headed shark attack. They're getting all the other B-movie goodness right. Look at that! Really, everybody's acting like it's like the worst thing ever. We need to get you to a clinic as soon as <laughs> Oh my god, wow. The, when you do see the close-up of the rubber shark, it is so bad. Oh, you know they're gonna do something stupid. Oh. Dumb kids do dumb things. Hashtag because two headed shark attack. Why would they split? Because two headed shark attack, Eric. God damn it. All these drunken movie night B movies, you think I'd learn that shit by now? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I want to see that shot in 3D. Oh, damn. 
What sense does that make? You just saw him attack your buddy that fell in the water. That makes no sense. Because hashtag, hashtag because two-headed shark attack. Fuck. Punch him. Yeah. Aw. Oh. That was such a poorly staged punch. And you know what? Her dad's Hulk Hogan. She should know how to stage a punch. If anybody in this movie does how. And honestly, by now, the Coast Guard should have... Oh, God, okay, okay, okay. Because two-headed shark attack. All right, all right, all right. I'll stop, I'll stop. <sighs> I'm not drunk enough for this shit. I'm almost through my first drink. Uh-oh. That drink is dead. Let's find us a good pausing spot. Okay, I'm back. Drink number two. We got about 25 minutes left. Some of that'll be credits. I know I've nitpicked the the logic, but whatever. I'm back to it. It's gonna be fun. Started to feel the alcohol. A heavy dinner may have kept me from healing it, feeling it too much, but I'm clearly starting to feel it, so, all right. Don't look back. Oh, what are you, you, maybe they aren't going to make him turn into the cool hero, dude, because this is like ultimate stupid move right here. So I don't know why they didn't just fix the antenna, which would be so much easier to fix than like boat engines and shit. By the way, here's my other new koozie if you haven't seen it. I got both these koozies for a buck a piece. Stoked. I love koozies, y'all. I'm addicted to them. They're badass. We're finally gonna remember the phone. Oh, the phone's actually gonna be his undoing instead of everybody's salvation. I feel the alcohol like kicking in, kicking in. Like it's like suddenly waves of it are washing over me. It took a minute. But I'm just like, huh? A <laughs> little bit. I think it's felt. Yeah. Oh, God. I think we're good. Gonna be cool, though. Right? Here we go. Bam! Woo! 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 Oh, they're, they're wooting, too. Woo! Woo! Sorry. Oh! You're hitting one of my one of my major fears in life. Yeah, there's no fucking surviving that. What the fuck? And the sharks in there. Oh. Oh. Wait, is she going to run out of bullets before she actually... You got to be shitting me, man. Okay. Wait. What did I miss where one shark's missing its head? It didn't explode, did it? And now it's the different head that's missing. I'm sorry, guys. The hashtag does not save that. It does not save that at all. But things like that, like here again. It flipped again. Bullshit. Bullshit. They did get Monster Dead movie over, so good for them there. Still, still, I know, it feels like it's so, so weird. It's so weird to say writing issues on a movie called Two-Headed Shark Attack, but there are. 
I can, I can deal with bad characterization. I can deal with missed opportunities. I can deal with bad dialogue. Those kind of things make B movies great when it comes to the writing. But what I can't deal with is like where they, I don't know, like things just, they at least have to make some kind of ludicrous sense. Ludicrous sense. They can't be totally ridiculous and like make no sense and have no logic. And that's what we just saw towards the end. Such a bummer. And so many things. Like I love cheapness in production. Like I can get behind that. But like when 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 hashtag not Jerry O'Connell's leg gets fucked up, that's just that's not okay. Not okay. Let's see if there's a post scene. No post scene. Okay, guys, there was two headed shark attack. It was it was a good time. It was. I know I I was mostly criticizing things, but still I really enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to part three because Danny Trejo is in it. So there's going to be so many machete jokes. It's going to be fucking amazing. Especially, you know, doing that live and chatting with you guys and, and having Mike here, hopefully, knock on wood. No reason to not think. I'm just, he would, but I'm just being safe. And then hopefully Casey, knock on wood. Or somebody. I mean, Mike and I don't mind doing them by ourselves. We just recognize it's definitely better when there's three people. So... Okay, I didn't think the alcohol was getting me, but the alcohol is getting me. And it's 2.09. And I gotta break down all this gear. So, I enjoyed it. Um, let's see, favorite part, favorite part, and then I'll wrap this up. Uh, uh, favorite part's the very beginning. That was honestly the best part. They had a really solid, like, hey... Here's stuff you don't have to care about. Here's the monster. Here's what we're doing. Awesome vibe. Awesome pacing to it. I like the idea the island was sinking. The in inlet, the, the whatever the hell they call it. Um, yeah. Hey, there were boobs. That's always cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's what I thought. <coughs> <coughs> Welcome to Drunken Movie Night, y'all. <clears throat> Solo <clears throat> edition. Whatever I call it. What did you guys think? Have you seen this? Are you going to see it? Did you see enough? <laughs> um, are you excited? Are you going to join us next Friday when we live stream uh, an educational short? Some Jerry Williams stuff, probably. Well, definitely. Probably an educational short. Definitely Jerry Williams stuff. We do three-headed shark attack. And I think it's like avalanche sharks or shark avalanche. I think that's we're going to do like a shark double thing. A shark a chark double thing. It's going to be awesome. So join us. Talk and chat. We'll do, we do giveaways on the live, on the live shows. Um, so you want to check that out and have a good time with us because it's a blast. All right. Well, so let me know what you think. Comment, all that stuff. And give me the thumbs of encouragement. I love to be encouraged. Thank you for the thumb. And <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I'm drunk. I'll see you guys later.